Welcome to another episode of Ozfish. Davey, let's get some. Oh, it's a big day today. First day I've ever actually gone out uh, trying to target snapper in the new boat. And um, it's a big moment for me because I'm trying to really get into the idea of uh, slow pitch jigging and using soft fives and, and using Nomad Squid Trekkers at sea. And I've got my uh, you know, new Garmin sounder, and uh, which is really awesome. So what I've done today is I've um, <clears throat> I've just come out and um, I've just been using my side scan and my 2D sounder and there's a lot of bait out here where I am way wider than I would normally actually fish and um, I've just dropped down in amongst that bait and uh, I have caught my first fish on a uh, soft five and it is only a, uh, a Sergeant Baker but it's the first fish that I've actually ever caught on a soft five at sea so uh, anyway it's a start and there is a lot of bait out here, uh, out wide out here, so if it'll catch Sergeant Baker, it'll definitely uh, smash uh, some snapper if you can find them. It, it is very, very early in the day. It's probably about midday, so I came out to actually spend about one hour getting used to the sound. Uh, I want to find some of my own ground um, out wider out here and see if I can find some areas um, in about 90 feet, you know, 80, 90 feet, where I can use the soft fives and uh, slow pitch jig. And eventually, you know, like another trip, so I'll venture wider out to some other grounds that I know way wider. But anyway, let's start. Old Sergeant Baker. <laughs> Hit something small. <laughs> Success. First ever snapper, you know, like uh, caught on a soft five at sea. And uh, that was pretty cool. I used my side scan and uh, it showed me some really interesting sections of the reef there. Went over it with my traditional 2D. Could see bait on it and uh, fish on it. Uh, threw down, threw up a little bit of head. And uh, anyway, only tiny, but that's a start, you know. There's a fish. Feels like a snapper. Wow, there you go. See, there's another little pinky uh, on the soft five. Yeah, a little tiny like uh, snapper, be close to legal, but uh, that's the second fish I caught today. And um, I could actually see the uh, snapper on the sounder. I think I kind of came over a small little uh, patch of snapper there, so the Garmin sounder is working really good. I'm on the 2D traditional sounder. I'll uh, swing around and have another crack. Huge amounts of bait on the uh, side scan here, straight down under the boat. It's taken me a little while to, uh, to get used to managing this really thin braid on this really narrow spooled uh, reel, yeah. You've really got to be on it, guiding it on and um, yeah, as it comes off the reel because this is probably about 30 pound braid but so thin. Wow, look at the bait here. I don't know what it is, but just put a mark on it. Unbelievable amounts of bait. It's amazing when you get a new sounder and you begin to, to learn how to use it and how effective the actual side scan is. Only a tailor, but another species of fish. Okay, what I'm using is a uh, Nomad Soft 5. And here's what I'm doing. Like the wind's blowing really gently from the northwest. There's a lot of bait on the sounder. So I'm actually drifting out this way. So I'm just pitching the Soft 5 up in front of me a little bit because I want to fish it vertically. 
And then what I'm doing is, I'm actually just holding onto the spool. It's a narrow spool. I'm just letting the braid out, just trying to feel if I get hit on the drop. And I have my thumb here, and if I get hit on the drop, immediately I'm able to actually just engage the reel and uh, strike a fish. But um, yeah, like, I'm just trying to gauge when that soft five is actually touched down on the bottom. There it is there. And then I'm just... that slow pitch rod right up under my shoulder and I'm just, I can feel that big heavy vibration in it. And as I'm drifting the boat, I'm just gonna let it, I'm an absolute beginner and this is the first time I've ever tried it. I can see there's no bait on the sounder now so I think the idea of, of uh, jigging at sea or slow pitch jigging is make sure you're right over the top of concentrations of bait or fish otherwise you're kind of wasting your time. You've got to use your sounder and target those fish. on the drop on the squid tracks. Decent fish on the uh, on the Novad Squid Trex. I felt him actually uh, bump me as it was uh, going down on the drop. I can actually see a few snapper on the sounder, so I just marked that spot as well. Way wider than I normally fish, but uh, anyway, nice one. Wow, it's, uh, the wind's picked up a lot. It's too windy out wide out there. I lost my Squid Trex vibe, my Nomad Squid Trex vibe, so I punched in, and uh, I'm just going to have a trial for a little while and uh, see if I can catch a snapper on the trial. This fish. Oh. Goddamn Taylor. Ooh. Fish. Tyler. Okay, that's a uh, wrap for Ozfish. Today was a, uh, a day just to see trial the boat, see how she'd go, see how she'd go on fuel. Um, I have some really nice slow pitch jigging outfits and uh, I want to go out and actually try that. And I uh, did catch three snapper uh, slow pitch jigging. So, you know, if, for the first time you've ever tried a technique, if you can get your target species, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's got a lot of potential. I'll uh, see if I can get my hands on a few more squid trexes and um, explore around. I've actually uh, fished some grounds wider um, and got fish today, like uh, where I normally don't fish. So that was good. A new bit of ground there. Found a lot of bait out there. But anyway, until next time, always remember, 
Let's get some.